Hi, my name is Andrea Coriali, celebrity caterer and owner of Elegant Affairs. Today we're talking about throwing a large party in a small space. If you have a small space and you're worried you're not going to have enough room for your party, here are some really great tips. First, take a look at how the room is laid out. If you have couches that are in the center of the room or any furniture that can be moved against the walls, that's your best bet. The name of the game here is to make as much open space as possible. Now, when guests first come into a party, where is the first place they're going to go? And that is the bar. So wherever the bar is going to be, you want to make sure that you have a nice open space around it because people have a tendency to go get a drink and they stand two or three feet away from the bar. Now, instead of cluttering up the entire bar with tons of alcohol and sodas and juices and ice, I suggest you come up with a signature cocktail bar. So choose one or two great signature vodka drinks as well as glassware, maybe a sign with those signature cocktail drinks, and that way you are condensing the bar. Maybe have some wine, a signature cocktail, some glassware, and you're ready to go. When it comes to food, you want to avoid the guests having to sit down with a fork and a knife. So what you should really do is make lots of food, grazing food, and put it all over the space, on the coffee tables, on the counters, anywhere that you can find the space. And if you want, instead of putting out 10-inch dinner plates, put out 7-inch dinner plates. Some items that you could absolutely serve are these fun chips. These are homemade beet chips, which are fabulous, and they're very, very different. Using a jumbo martini glass or any other kind of glass vessel is a really good idea because you can fit lots of food in these small vessels and place them anywhere. The same thing with these tomato and mozzarella bites. These tomato and mozzarella bites are fabulous. They're bite sized. Instead of having a big platter of tomato and mozzarella where people have to take a fork and a knife and cut it, these are on a miniature fork already. You just pop them in your mouth and you are ready to go. So, just to recap, set a signature bar, move the furniture against the walls to make an open space, and put food everywhere, lots of food, grazing food, little tea sandwiches, tomato mozzarella bites, chips and glass vessels. Even do a carving of filet mignon and turkey and have rolls on the side with a little bowl of accompaniment on the side so they can make their own sandwiches. Be creative. I'm Andrea Coriali for Elegant Affairs, and you're watching eHow.com.